dear friends welcome back to my channel so i'm going to start the curve fitting model second of the mathematics third for the triple e students for the triple e branch okay so it is subject code is b e uh, 301 okay so what is curve fitting curve fitting is nothing but it is the mathematical procedure of finding the best curve for a given set of numbers suppose in this question uh, given set of numbers are given you have to find the straight line simply okay or best curve means you have to find this a and b value in this equation so that you will get answers okay so that is the curve fitting so important equations to remember over here is that is summation of y it is nothing but you have to sum these terms y terms you have to sum 1 plus 2 plus 3 3 plus 3 like that uh, you will get summation of y okay okay so next is n a n means number of terms you see here 1 2 3 4 5 if i take this question so n is equal to 5 in this case but in general you have to remember this plus b summation of x summation of x means you have to add this uh, these terms you will get summation of x okay so this is the simple formula and next is summation of x y means you have to multiple x and y so that you will get summation of x y okay a is a constant which you have to calculate over here over here so summation of x means same you have to sum these numbers already calculated in the above step and b summation of x once you get summation of x then you have to square it it will become summation of x square let us do it uh, very simple simply over here so you have to make column first x y x y and x square just because we have to calculate x y also and summation of x square also that is why i take x square okay first x is same that is minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 okay this is your first column next is 1 2 3 3 4 right then x and y means minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 minus 2 into 1 is sorry 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 3 into 0 is 0 3 into 1 is 3 4 into 2 is 8 so this is your x y column now x square means you have to square this so you will get 2 2 are 4 minus 1 plus square 1 right 0 0 1 square is 1 and 2 square square is 4 now you have to calculate summation of x summation of x y summation of sorry summation of y here summation of x y and summation of x square i hope you are getting my points over here so summation of x is minus 2 minus or minus 3 minus 3 and plus 3 it will become 0 over here okay and this one 1 2 3 3 3 uh, 6 9 4 13 summation of y i am getting 13 so this is minus 4 minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 minus 1 uh, plus 8 that is 7 so summation of x y is 7 and this one 4 1 5 6 6 or 4 10 so i am getting this okay now you have to put uh, these values in this particular equation you have to use these two equations okay if i take first summation of y is equal to n a plus b times summation of x fine so what is the summation of y value 13 so 13 is equal to n n value is 5 in this case so n is 5 times a plus b is so see here now b is not here so we have to calculate it so b summation of x is 0 so b into 0 so you will get 13 is equal to 5 a plus 0 no need to write so you will get a value as 13 upon 5 which you will get a is equal to 2.6 in this case over here okay so this is your a value so we were supposed to calculate this a and i earlier told you that you have to calculate a and b value so that you will get the best curve okay so this is one equation next equation is summation of x y is equal to a summation of x plus b summation of x square okay so what is the summation of x y value which is 7 over here is equal to a summation of x a is not given so summation of x is 0 okay into 0 plus b as it is summation of x square is 10 so b into 10 you will get 7 is equal to 0 plus b into 10 means 10 b so b is equal to 7 upon 10 okay so you will get accordingly b is equal to so 0 0.7 you will get over here okay this is your b value now put this a and b value in this particular equation y is equal to a plus bx so you will get y is equal to what is the a value 2.6 so 2.6 plus what is the b value 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 times x this is your best curve for the particular set of points okay i hope this is clear to you in the next video we will solve another problem so that you will get clarity